CV2X. And I write it like that too. CV2X. 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 Okay. What you're about to see is the first CV2X demo here in the United States. This is a wireless technology that has the potential to significantly reduce the number of motor vehicle accidents caused by human error. CV2X stands for Cellular Vehicle 2 X Communication, where X could be the infrastructure on the road. It could be other vehicles, CV2V. It could be CV2P, which is pedestrians. And it's a smart technology so that the car is always communicating to the environment around it, regardless of line of sight. What you've got in these cars is a Qualcomm chipset. It's built into the car using Panasonic technology. It's a technology that works with the absence of a cellular network, although it can be enhanced by existing cellular wireless technologies. And in the case of Denver, where you have a lot of fiber laid all around the city of Denver and in some of the highways outside, that fiber in the ground makes it much easier to install the pieces of technology that you need on the roadside that will communicate back and forth to the cars. What's at stake here? Safety. Uh, we've had over a 45% increase in traffic fatalities throughout the state over the past five years. Um, so years past we may have been below 500 traffic fatalities now we're getting close to 700 per year uh, the transportation system is largely the backbone of the economy so the safer it is the more efficient it operates the better the economy is this technology has the potential to warn drivers for example if someone is braking quickly in front of you you'll get a warning if you're turning and you don't have visibility to see an oncoming car it will give you a warning we even saw part of the demo where the light was communicating to to the car in real time saying when the next light would change. We saw a pedestrian alert and then someone crossed in front of the car. And eventually those warnings could be talking to a computer for an automated response. So instead of you hitting the brake, maybe your car does it for you. We're a little bit further out from that, but this is the beginning of that kind of a world. Qualcomm says CV2X could be commercialized by the end of this year and into next year. We have customers on both the infrastructure side and in the automotive or the automaker side that are looking to launch product in 2019. So we could potentially be seeing some of this stuff on the road in the next uh, year or two. Absolutely. In terms of current or future Ford customers, how does the technology that's being demonstrated today trickle down to them? So we don't have a timeline right now. There's uh, an older technology, DSN DSRC, which is being in, in, um, in the market for a very long time, like 10 some years. There's a lot of work has been done on that. We are currently showcasing that the CV2X is a superior technology. It's showing some very good results. And, um, and we wanted to showcase that that's the platform to go for. Can you go into the an anonymity of that's built into this system? Right, the, the data that is being collected is totally anonymous. Uh, there's nothing there that gives VIN number or anything else that could be identifiable with an individual or a specific vehicle. So you wouldn't be able to track somebody doing 80 down the highway and have them pulled over based on this particular technology? That's correct. Even with it being anonymous, there's nothing uh, the way the system is designed and the standards to where we'd be able to pluck out and say, we don't know who, but someone is going 80 miles per hour. Therefore, we're going we're gonna to trigger law enforcement to go out there. At the end of the day, there is still an education curve. People have to get used to this technology. They're going to have to get used to responding to it. And it's going to become part of the regular driving scenario, hopefully sooner than later. And we're going to see, I think, a huge reduction in motor vehicle accidents, hopefully less fatalities, and a safer roadway for everyone.